So, Remember Me from Don't Nod has just had the review embargo lifted and there are some varied review scores across the board which reflects varied opinions of individuals ranging from high 8 and 9 out of 10 and the real low such as IGN's 5.9 out of 10 and the lowest of them all from Now Gamer and Joystick at 5 out of 10 which seems really low compared to the others. Whilst we gave Remember Me a 7 out of 10, the fact that IGN is one of the most well-known major publications perhaps spells doom for Capcom's game, as many gamers have shown interest but have said they will now rather wait until the price drops. Is this a testament to the influence of publications like IGN, or do people actually make up their own minds only to be nudged into an on-the-fence direction through online peer pressure? Either way, with more reviews sitting at the lower end of the scale, or perhaps using the full 1 to 10 point scale instead of 7 out of 10, makes Remember Me stand out as a Marmite type game. But it does have its issues, which some have picked up on, which they are right to bring to the fore. Poor voice acting. Not sure about this one, as it's rather subjective, and as they say, one man's meat is another man's poison. Nillian's voice actress isn't too bad in our eyes here, but again, it's debatable whether you feel she could have put a bit more emotion into the performance. She doesn't have a clue. Can't skip the damn cutscenes. God damn it! Having beaten the game twice already and now the finished product and Don't Nod really wanted gamers to listen to the story without any option to skip the bloody cutscenes. Come on guys, this is gaming standard, especially if you've seen them once already. Whoever thought of this idea really does need to be shot. No free roam. Okay, ifs and buts here, but look at the wonderfully created Neo Paris, which can't be faulted for its artistic direction and design. And yet, players are shoehorned into linear paths, with nothing to interact with and nowhere to explore, despite the gameplay mechanics hinting at the possibilities. It's very much a wasted opportunity here. Only four combos? What the hell? With Capcom games normally excelling in this field, only four combos. Why? Just why? Sure, you can mix up their effects, but four measly combos is simply not good enough. The combat merely feels like an add-on and not something properly developed as a result, which is a shame as the basics are pretty competent when they work. Jack of all trades. Remember Me is a solid game, but does feel like a game which tries to do too much and then sticks all the ideas together with gaffer tape and hopes for the best. What gamers are left with is a game which never really excels in one area. The combat is okay, the story interesting but not particularly enticing, and the world lacking in offering players a pathway to explore. In being so tight and expansive, the overall result it feels quite restrictive and therefore isn't going to win many favours with some people who expect a bit more from a fully priced game. So in this regard, are the likes of IGN absolutely right in lowering their scores or is it a case of, well, we just didn't like the game as much as we could have done if it had all these issues fixed. Okay, well we'll leave you with that, try the game out, see what you think. Okay, I'm Rob Cram. Thanks for watching.